In the vast expanse of the cosmos, silently lie countless number of enigmatic cosmic beasts which don't bother anything at all, unless things get close to them. Sounds like cosmic monsters, right? Well, they definitely are, but what makes their presence truly scary is the fact that they're simply invisible. You got it, we're talking about none other than the majestic black holes. Objects that are invisible but are immensely beautiful. No one has seen them directly. No one has seen inside them. In fact, no one has ever been close to them. That's because they are spread out in the universe like hidden treasures, containing information we are incapable of detecting and studying. Welcome to this video in which we'll take a deep dive into a black hole and see if we can somehow manage to get into them and see things like never before. In the year 1783, an English philosopher named John Mitchell had a groundbreaking idea that laid the groundwork for one of the most mysterious and perplexing celestial phenomena. Drawing inspiration from Isaac Newton's theory proposing that light consists of tiny particles, John Mitchell conceived the notion that if these particles were to emanate from the surface of a star, that the star's gravitational force would diminish their velocity, akin to how projectiles behave when fired upwards from Earth. Mitchell went on to propose that by gauging the decrease in the speed of light from a star, one could potentially determine the star's mass. Moreover, he underscored that for any object to escape the gravitational grasp of a star, it must travel at a velocity exceeding a certain threshold, known as the escape velocity. This escape velocity varies depending on a star's size and mass. Here, Mitchell wondered about the existence of stars with such formidable gravitational forces that their escape velocity surpassed the speed of light. He envisioned that light originating from such stars would be unable to break free and would instead be drawn back to their surfaces. This led him to suggest that such celestial entities would remain invisible in the universe, as no light could escape them. It is worth noting that this was the first time an idea alluding to black holes had been formulated. Nevertheless, as this concept was significantly ahead of its time, it garnered minimal attention. Additionally, Mitchell, armed with the approximate speed of light available during his era, conducted calculations that led to his conclusion. For a star to possess an escape velocity greater than the speed of light, it would need to be 500 times more massive than our Sun. Fast forward to the emergence of Albert Einstein's groundbreaking theory of relativity. According to Einstein's theory, gravity could indeed influence light by bending its path. However, it could not alter its speed. This was because Einstein's theory of relativity posited that gravity was not a force, as previously believed, but rather the consequence of massive celestial bodies warping the fabric of spacetime surrounding them. This curvature caused objects, including light, to move toward these celestial bodies. Therefore, when light traversed a gravitational field, its trajectory bent due to this curvature, but its speed remained constant. This ultimately refuted Mitchell's notion of measuring a star's mass by assessing the change in the speed of light. However, Mitchell was undeniably correct in pointing towards celestial bodies capable of trapping light due to their immense mass. In 1915, after unveiling his theory, Einstein predicted the existence of celestial bodies so massive that nothing, not even light, could escape their gravitational pull. This prediction was later confirmed by Carl Schwarzschild, who employed Einstein's equations to mathematically establish the existence of these celestial entities we now refer to as black holes. According to this theory and the accompanying equations, when stars significantly more massive than our Sun reach the end of their life cycles and collapse, their cores become so densely packed that they warp the space-time fabric to an extent where the curvature creates an extraordinarily potent gravitational force, preventing anything, including light, from escaping. This revelation generated worldwide excitement, although the detection of such celestial bodies presented a formidable challenge. Following the theoretical recognition of what were not referred to as black holes back then, a significant passage of time passed. Until, in 1964, astronomers via one of their sounding rockets detected the emanation of X-rays from a celestial source. This discovery instigated further research and studies that culminated in 1971, when astronomers arrived at the conclusion that these X-rays originated from a luminous blue star orbiting a concealed object. It was suggested that the X-rays resulted from the process of the dark object siphoning material from the bright blue star 
effectively confirming the existence of the first black hole. This dark object was subsequently christened Cygnus X1 and is situated in the constellation Cygnus. Before this revelation, the terminology black holes was not in use. Instead, terms like dark stars or collapsed stars were employed. It was not until 1967 that John Archibald Wheeler, an American physicist during one of his lectures at the NASA Goddard Institute of Space Studies, introduced the term black hole, thereby cataclysing its widespread adoption. Over time, numerous black holes have been discovered and they fall into three primary categories. Stellar mass black holes. These originate from stars roughly 5 to 10 times the mass of our own sun when they undergo collapse. Intermediate black holes. These are born from stars with a mass spanning 100 to 100,000 times that of the sun. Supermassive black holes. These colossal entities located at the core of galaxies boast masses ranging from millions to billions of times that of our sun, rendering them the largest among black holes. The formation process of supermassive black holes at the centers of galaxies remains a mystery. Now, one might inquire how astronomers, given that black holes neither emit light nor possess visible features, manage to detect them. Once black holes come into existence, they can augment their mass by ingesting matter. The point known as the event horizon positioned proximate to a black hole signifies a region where gravitational forces are so overpowering that not even light can elude its clutches. Anything venturing past the event horizon becomes inescapable. However, the event horizon's radius is typically minute. Celestial bodies can orbit black holes without falling in. Yet, under the influence of the intense gravitational pull of a nearby black hole, matter can accumulate around it and undergo the process of accretion, during which the spiraling matter becomes intensely compressed and heated, resulting in the emission of X-rays and gamma rays. A fascinating occurrence transpires during accretion. Magnetic fields within the accretion disk as they get twisted and compressed during the accretion process become amplified. These potent magnetic fields in proximity to the black hole propel matter in the form of energetic jets perpendicular to the accretion disk, and these jets surge at nearly the speed of light. When astronomers embark in the quest to locate black holes, they scrutinize the robust X-rays emitted by matter in the accretion disk, or they may pinpoint black holes by identifying the powerful radio emissions emitted by the vigorous matter jets expelled from the black holes. Astronomers can also employ alternative techniques, such as the scrutiny of the orbital movements of stars revolving around black holes, observing anomalies in their behavior when positioned near seemingly vacant space. A multitude of other methods exist for detecting black holes, encompassing gravitational waves and microlensing. Now, the formation of black holes surely is a complex process, and once these highly complicated celestial bodies formed, things unfold as being even more weird, and taking into account their ferocious gravitational pull, no one has ever even dared of thinking of going near a black hole, so therefore, what exactly transpires within these mysterious bodies remains a mystery. In fact, black holes are so mysterious that some theories predict that our laws of physics even break down at the event horizon. This is known as the information paradox. What happens is that black holes chew on everything, be it stars, planets, stellar dust, or whatever. They keep consuming all the random things and information and later emit them as Hawking radiation which is all the same. When Hawking radiation is detected, it gives not even a single trace of what kind of matter went into the black hole and hence, information is lost. This is in stark contrast to the laws of physics that state, information cannot be created or destroyed. But guess what? Black holes destroy information. Sounds spooky, right? That's because it is. What happens inside a black hole or precisely what is inside it remains unknown. Research on black holes continues in the quest to uncover more secrets. However, until then, why not take a break from all this complicated stuff and hop onto the next video in line on our channel and get refreshed until we have some more interesting stuff about black holes lined up for you. But before leaving, take a moment to hit the like and subscribe buttons and ring the bell icon to stay tuned.